All right, all right, all right. This is going to be the third dedicated whiskey review I've done. Didn't plan on doing a second. Didn't plan on doing a third. It's just how it turned out. Today we are going to be reviewing Stellum Bourbon. I was in total wine today, stocking up on my moonshine and uh, Wild Turkey 101. When the beautiful salesman, he's a guy, I'm not gay. Be yeah, the, the, the salesman, okay, the salesman, he's like trying to sell me all this stuff. And he's like, you know what? You should really try this. Oh, it's blue. It's blue. You can't see it with the blue screen, but it looks like that. He's like, you should really try this out. It's, uh, it's cash strength. It's... It, uh, what did he say? He said it's cash strength, but it's really smooth. And he's like, I was drinking it while working. And I'm like, okay. That might, I don't know if he was drinking while working. I, I would if I could. But you know what? He said he was drinking while working. And um, it's got a smooth, it's smooth going down for such a high proof in his opinion. And um, he said it had kind of a medium finish. He said it was kind of like... Um, what was that stuff he um he he said it was something like something else he said it was a buffalo trace he said it was kind of like buffalo trace sort of it had like um similarities so we'll see what's going on with that in just a second um this is water I didn't stain it it's not it's just water for a second for a second ago so let's sit up and let's get ready to do this all right so here's the bottle we got a gold pull tab you can't see it probably but it's gold. Very, very attractive, sexy. Here we go. By the way, I haven't drank today, and I barely drank yesterday. Or was it before? I don't remember. I don't remember when I last drank. Uh, so, I didn't drink today, though. So, we're going in fresh. I washed the um, the Glectern. Oh, wow. This is on there tight. I'm taking off this um, plastic, and it's pulling the cork. Let's see if we can just peel this off this way instead, so we can... All right, there we go. Oh, it's a little pudding looking. See, it popped up a little bit. Let me just push that deck down. Oh, look, the pressure's popping it out again. Okay, let's read what's on the bottle. Stellum Spirit is driven by progress, critical thinking. I'm busy. No. Got your packet. Stellum Spirits is driven by progress, critical thinking, and above all, attention to detail. We're devoted to bringing American whiskey into the modern age with simple, elegant blends and single barrels select it with care and intention. Stone Spirits. Now, he said this was the same company that does barrel, which I have barrel dovetail. I'm not opening. I probably will not open. It was $110. I probably won't open that. But um, anyway, yeah, StoneSpirits.com. That's all that's on the bottle. Uh, proof it is 57.49% alcohol or a hundred and basically 115 proof so we was pouring this yes yeah, smells nice and clean all right got it in my eyeball that's okay non synthetic cork all right let's see what it smells like out the bottle Smells very oaky. Very oaky. Let's put it in the glick turn and see what's going on. Goes and on, going on. Let's pour us a nice little pour. Set that off to the side and well, what am I supposed to do about that? Uh let's see what's going on. Not the best pouring. It's um I was gonna say it's earlier, I forgot. It's um the bottle's weird. It's Stands out as like a wine bottle shape, which I thought was kind of strange. I've not seen that in a bourbon. So, uh, yeah, I think that's okay. We'll put that back there. All right, let's sat for about 30 seconds. Let's see what's going on. Smells very clean. All right. Got kind of like a I want to say like almost peachy. It doesn't smell exactly like peaches, but it's kind of like that. Kind of peachy. Oh, what was that? 
Oh, wow. I took a lot of that up the nose. What does that smell? Huh. That is very interesting. So I'm smelling it, right? And it's actually going through my nose into my throat, and I'm feeling it in my throat, sort of, if that makes any sense. It's strange. Like I'm inhaling the vapors more than any other whiskey I've tried. It's like candy. It smells like candy, sort of, is what I'm thinking of. It's not exactly right. It's like a bitter candy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely like peaches coming off now. Wow. What is that? It's kind of like... <clears throat> it's like helium. It's like, you know when you snore, like, like um, inhale helium to get like the really high voice, like that? It kind of smells like that, but like a good version. Like it sounds, it smells tasty. I... What is that smell? Yeah, cotton candy helium mixed with peaches and um, oh wow. I'm gonna get like um like dizzy off of smelling this stuff. It's like I'm like smelling like I don't know alcohol. All right, we're gonna swirl this for a second and then we're gonna taste it. So I don't know if I'm gonna cut it, but my brother tried coming in here. I guess I got a package. It's probably out there on the um, patio. I said I was busy, but okay. Let's see what's going on. All right. Yeah, the helium peaches slash cotton candy just keeps getting stronger and stronger off the nose. It keeps going. It keeps getting. It gets more pronounced with like every second. Oh wow! Got a big puff. Is this even legal? <laughs> I didn't drink today, so this is going to be interesting. I got like a reset palette. We're going to try this out. All right, here we go. <clears throat> oh, yeah. That's a sexy beverage. Oh, yeah. Wow, that stuff's dry. It's like I just shoved a napkin in my mouth and all the saliva's gone. <clears throat> all right, I see the, the tasting notes. Wow, it's dry. That's the driest bourbon I've tried. Wow. So I get faint peaches. I said I said I smelled peaches earlier. I'm getting faint smells of like I mean faint taste of peaches. It's like um I wanna say it's like in the back row. Like you can if you didn't smell it off the nose, you probably wouldn't detect it in the tasting. Maybe I'm imagining it. But um let's see what else is going on. It's very, very sweet. It's sweeter than the Tennessee whiskeys I've had. Like the, the fake the fake bourbon. Wow. So yeah. Now, strangely, there's no dark fruit that I'm tasting in this. There's like no dark fruit at all. Like no dark cherries, no nothing. Like apricots, like nothing like that. But yet, really light peaches in the background. But, I mean, immediately, you're overwhelmed with this, like, just sweet, honeyed, candy, vanilla dryness. Like, it's like, I could, it's probably what taking a mouthful of sands, like, dry-wise, if that makes sense. 
Like, uh, you know in that Three Amigos movie when he just, he's like dipping the water bottle in his mouth and it just like pours out sand and he's like, <coughs> it's like that. I'm afraid, I'm taking little sips, I'm afraid of tipping too much in my mouth and like, um, drying out like a prune. All right. Wow. Oh, wow. I'm really dry in my throat. This thing could be killer. Like, if you want... I mean, like, really. This stuff is really dry. Like... Oh, wow. This is drier than the... Wild Turkey um, Rare Breed. It's drier than the Freud Cast Drink. Those are completely different drinks. But in like terms of dryness, this thing is dry. Like It's like desert. Like bone dry. This is what makes bones turn white. Well, that's the sun. But okay. Uh, A lot of oak coming on now. So we got all those light. We got like light peaches in the back row, um, up front. Like I'm like I'm talking like stage view. Like I'm like like basically on the stage, is um, like this honeyed vanilla candy. It's really really candy. -y. Like um, what kind of candy? Like. What is that candy? I'm just checking the time. It's um Wow. That stuff keeps getting drier and drier. Like this is uh I feel like a uh, wow. But uh anyway, I'm sorry. So I can't really think of the candy's name I'm thinking about, but just imagine like a candy that doesn't really have a flavor, it just is really sweet and kind of has like a, like it's like a suck on candy sort of, that's like, that's more sugar flavored, I guess, if that makes any sense. It's not just sugar flavored, but it's kind of basically sugar flavored. Then we got honey and vanilla, like right up there. Then we got peaches in the background, middle ground between them is just like this lawn oak. We get this like... This oakness going out. I'm slouching. Sorry. Wow. Wow. I can't get over that dryness. Wow. All right, let's, just, yeah, let's talk about um. Let's talk about this in a little more detail now. I do disagree with him. I think that it has a short finish. If you like that, I think that's actually a good thing for this drink because if you had this prolonged, like it's still dry in my mouth, but that was like intensified, like every sip, I think you would die. So I think it has a relatively short finish. I mean, you get overwhelmed with these like candied, honeyed, vanilla -y stuff. Then you got like this like oak it like flat lines into oak and then it like flat lines again into peach you can't see my hand i'm doing this it flat lines into peach like very light peaches though yeah okay i'm gonna make a weird metaf like um analogy or whatever yeah is that what it's called i'm not sure what this is called it's like if black holes sucked in all these like ingredients and we're saying the black holes the dryness and you know how like, it just like disappears all the stuff so you get like all this like crazy like light candy and they got the oak and the peach but then it's just like consumed by dryness like it just disappears into dry like the desert Yeah, the dude at Total Wine said that uh, he drank it straight from the bottle. 
Now, I think you can do this with this drink. I don't think, unless you want to get these um, these notes, I don't think you're going to necessarily um, taste too much. It's not going to taste too different if you let it open up or not. So you could drink this straight out the bottle, I think. I'll actually test that in a second. Oh, well, I gotta be careful. He said he said that too. That uh, I had to be careful because this doesn't feel like I'm drinking a cash strength. Um, oh, basically a hundred and fifty. I mean, a hundred. Basically, fifty-eight percent alcohol. It's basically fifty-eight. All right. All right. So I stand by what I said about drinking straight from the bottle as opposed to letting it open up. You let it open up, you get a little bit more um, pronounced sugar notes, and the peach lasts just a, like maybe a second longer. But it's really nothing you're missing. Well, you you are missing it, but it depends on if you like that or not. I think I guess you could do the either way. It just doesn't really matter. I don't think. Yeah, kind of also a weird shape if you want to drink it straight out of the bottle. Like, it's kind of like, well, I guess maybe not. It's just kind of like a wine bottle shape. I don't know. I don't exactly like that. I hate wine, by the way, if you didn't notice or infer. Wow, that stuff's intense. I didn't even take a sip there. But he said you got to be careful because... um. I do agree. You can drink this stuff pretty much like water. It doesn't taste like it's that high of a proof. It tastes maybe it's like 40, 45 at the most. It's like a 45 proof at the most when it goes feels like going down, except for that dryness, which is ridiculous. Oh, is it 17 minutes? Wow. Yeah, tasting notes are wow, because... <laughs> no, no. All right, last sip, and then we'll uh, final verdict on this stuff. Mmm. Huh. Wow. Wow. I took a big gulp. <clears throat> All right. Don't do that if you want to drink this. Don't take big sips like that or big uh, swigs or whatever you want to call it. That stuff's intense. All right. So final verdict. We'll do, we'll do the overview of Tasty Notes and Final Verdict. So like I said, you get that extremely candied honey vanilla straight up front. Lots of it. Like really powerful stuff. Then it flatlines into oak, and then it flatlines again into peaches, sort of. But the peaches are very um, subtle. Like, you get it more off the nose than on the taste. Then everything is just consumed. Not so much as while you're drinking it, like when you're tasting like the, the candy, sugar, vanilla, than the wood. But straight after you get the last hint of that peach, it just goes into, like, the void of dryness. And I'm like, I'm fading. That's what it's doing. It's making me fade. Like, a <laughs> But uh, just a void of dryness, like, it is so, so dry. Like, you could probably choke yourself to death if you just drink, like, like that. You would just probably die. Your throat would never recover from the dryness. Wow, that stuff's dry. Well, that's about it on the tasting notes. I don't think there's much else to say. It's actually... It's a very nice journey, I guess. I'm glad it has sort of a shorter finish at the end with the peaches. Because I think if there was too much more peach... Well, I, I don't know if the peaches ever really add to it. I think they more of a subtraction, actually. But I don't really like peaches. But, um... So, anyway, I I guess for ratings-wise, 1 to 10, I... Wow. 
for what this is, and I would buy it again, it was like 50 bucks. Like, this bottle's like, that right there is like 50 bucks, which, wow, what a steal. What a steal for what that was. Oh, wow. I don't know if I like it better than the Rare Breed, the Wild Turkey Rare Breed, but it's like, like, real close. I didn't do a review on Rare Breed because I just decided to open it and didn't film it, but this is a little bit of a different experience. It's actually a ridiculously different experience, but... Alright, onto the verge. I say 8. I'm, I'm coming back to 8 in my mind. 8 out of 10. Like, this stuff, I don't think it could get much better, really, for what this is. And if you want just a dry desert, this is what you gotta go for. It's like, dry... Like, I, I don't know. It's crazy. Also, it feels like you're not drinking 100, I mean, 58% um, alcohol. It doesn't feel like that. It's more like a 45. That's what it tastes like and feels like, except for the dryness. So it's kind of, it's really smooth, like ridiculous. I don't really like smooth drink, I mean, smooth bourbon that much, but this stuff, dang, this stuff's dangerous. This is just a dangerous, dangerous beverage, a sexy beverage. And one I can't recommend more. 8 out of 10. Go get yourself a bottle at Total Wino. And uh, enjoy it. Because this stuff. This stuff is killer. It's dangerous. Wow. What a good drink. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that that uh, very strange video. Probably the strangest video I've made in a long time. Probably ever. So uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And I, uh, I'll see you again later. Alright. Bye.